morning, we survived. Whew, it started raining early this morning. The forecast says that it should stop by now and turn to sun. So it has stopped, but it's not sunny. And I'm frozen from setting up. So, um, yeah, onward to the Trimpy shelter to warm up and have breakfast. My goodness you guys I wasn't even two miles from here and there's a fireplace and bunks uh, I should have pushed on last night and honestly it doesn't look like anybody stayed here because I think that fireplace would still be warm <sighs> look you guys there's a bird up there He's looking at me. Aw, oh, poor little thing. Oh. I won't hurt you, baby bird. Alright, making some breakfast. Let's see what we got here. We've got, we're at the Trumpy Shelter. We need to get to Partnership Shelter. Um, which is... 10 miles so we should be able to do that by 2 o'clock so we can um well I guess if you go down to this visitors center you can get the bus into Marion if you're there by 2 I don't know we'll see what happens oh there's a birdie right there on the tree I bet that birdie belongs with this birdie and I'm scaring him but it is beautiful now. Okay, so basically what our day looks like is A, it's not raining anymore. So, but, um, and B, we're less than 10 miles to Partnership Shelter where you can call for pizza. Uh, you can also get on the bus to Marion. Comes at 8, 10, and 2. Ooh, it's gonna be close getting there by two. We'll see how the terrain is. Pretty good so far. Um, but we didn't finish breakfast and leave that trimpy shelter till just past ten. So we'll see what happens. Um, if we can get into Marion, there is an Econo Lodge and a Walmart. Those two things would make me very happy. Very happy. Um, if not, there is pizza at the partnership shelter tonight and we can make our way into town tomorrow. Not a big deal either way. So we'll figure it out. Mm, this dog is just going to pull me the whole way. And the leash is broken so he might as well pull because if he slows down I'm going to trip all through this leash because it won't retract. So I can get a nicer leash at Walmart than the stupid Dollar General one that I picked up before when I was in a pinch. Aw, cute little old foundation. I could tell something used to be here because of all the daffodils. And look, a little bridge. It's so cute. somebody and we're gonna have to sit in the back of a pickup truck I guess so we're gonna get bundled up <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, guys, so we survived the ride. We got this room. <gasps> Yay! I'm gonna run around right now and spray everything with Lysol. <laughs> Woo! We made it! This is so exciting. So exciting. All right, so I managed to get my resupply. <laughs> it's for a hundred miles, so it's gonna take me at least seven days. This is all dog food. Um, three, six, nine days worth with some extra tuna, and there's some chicken jerky in there. Um, this is dinners. These are all like Norse sides tuna chicken packets um they were out of spam there's mashed potatoes in there there's the broccoli cheddar soup these are the closest thing to ramen noodles that they had um and some rice so good i have some lunch stuff here like some jerky um tuna salad packets jerky, bacon jerky, jack links, um, and then the bacon bits will go in with my mashed potatoes and noodles. Um, I have coffee and creamer. I have oatmeal, so breakfasts, and then this is all snacks, um, which is also lunches. They didn't have any small fuel canisters, so I got a large one. And I got this bowl for the dog because that plastic bowl we were using has a hole in it. I managed to find more Lysol, some more wipes. I got dog poop bags, this fun little, I don't know if I'm gonna hang that off my pack or just chuck it and keep the bags. And I got him a new retractable leash. We'll see if this one lasts. Hi, PR. I don't know how, you guys, but I fit it all into two bags, minus this one cookie. So, there we go. 